choosing the right DAW or digital audio workspace. What's happening VO campers and welcome back. Today I want to talk about your DAW or your digital audio workspace. And this is obviously the software that you record into so that you can manipulate it and make it sound as professional as possible. There are so many options out there for DAWs and some are free, some are expensive, some are in the middle, some have all the bells and whistles, some just have very basic stuff. And it can feel a bit overwhelming trying to figure out which one is right for you. So in this video, I'm gonna break down the most popular ones and that is gonna be Audacity, Twisted Wave, Adobe Audition, and Reaper. I'm also gonna talk about a few others that could be an option for you as well. And by the end of this video, you're gonna know which one kind of fits your workflow and budget so that you can make the right decision. Your DAW is one of the most important pieces of software that you're ever gonna use. And the reason why is because you can't record voiceovers without it. So just like your microphone and your interface and maybe even your computer, you have to have this in order to do this job. Now, unlike musicians who use very complicated sometimes pieces of software, as a voice actor, we really don't need that kind of overkill. We just need something that's a little simpler and easier to record into and manipulate using editing tools, maybe some plugins, and that's really it. So first I wanna break down what makes a good recording software. Um, if you go online and you start listening to audio engineers and blogs and you know online debates about which one's best, that can feel just you know crazy. And so what I wanna do here is kind of break it all down very simply for you and just tell you the need to know information for each one of these popular softwares. And hopefully that'll help you make the right decision. So the first thing to look for is ease of use. You don't wanna get a piece of software where you need some sort of audio engineering degree to operate it. Keep it simple as usual, and just make sure that it doesn't slow your workflow down. You want it to actually help your workflow not bog it down. The next thing you wanna look for are some basic editing tools. Just, just the basics, just things to cut out your mistakes, uh, tighten up the timing a little bit, maybe add a little bit of processing like EQ and compression, just to keep things nice and simple. Reliability is also a very key point here. You wanna make sure that whatever software you're using is reliable. So if you're on some directed session with people helping direct you record, you don't have a crash. The next thing is the exporting capabilities. So you want to be able to export in at least WAV or MP3. Then, of course, there's a few other uh, types of files that you should be able to export in as well. But we as voice actors, 99 times out of 100, are only going to be recording and exporting in MP3s and WAVs. And of course, last is budget. You want to make sure that whatever you're getting fits your budget. You know, some are free, some are hundreds of dollars, and some are right in the middle. So we're going to go over the whole spectrum. First up is Audacity. And I've mentioned Audacity on here several times before, but the reason why a lot of people use this one is that first up, it's free. It's a, a very kind of basic version of a DAW, and it's available for Windows, Mac, Linux, you know, all, all operating systems. And it's, um, as I said, it's very stripped down and basic, but I know plenty of people who started with Audacity and just got used to it, and they continue to use it today, even in their full-time VO career. Some of the pros for Audacity uh, are that it's free, obviously. Um, it's very simple to use. It's lightweight. It doesn't use a lot of resources of your computer, and it will, like I said, work on most every computer. Um, and there are a ton of tutorials on YouTube on how to use Audacity for voiceover. Now, some of the cons for Audacity is that it, uh, it kind of feels dated and clunky. It just looks super basic. Not that that's a huge deal, but some people maybe like a little bit more updated look and feel. But that's one thing. Uh, the next thing is that if you're using plugins, they can be a little bit hard to manage within Audacity. Most plugins will work on Audacity, but some won't. So you have to make sure that whatever plugins you're using do um, work with Audacity. It also has uh, limited features compared to some of the other paid DAWs, you know. Um, so just make sure that if there are particular settings that you're looking for in your DAW, that Audacity has it. But once again, it's a great starter option 
where you can start working with cutting out mistakes and tightening things up and editing and adding some EQ and that kind of thing just to get your feet wet in recording. Okay, the next one we're gonna talk about is Adobe Audition, and this is my personal favorite. I've been using Adobe Audition now for about over 10 years, and this is included in the Adobe Creative Cloud. So if you already have Adobe Creative Cloud, things like you know Premiere Pro or Photoshop, you may already have it included, so maybe check for that. But Adobe Audition is a paid service. It's a subscription service. It's about 20 bucks a month. If you were to poll all the voice actors in the entire world, Adobe Audition is probably the one that most people use. So it is the industry standard. Some of the pros with Audition are that it's very professional and a polished interface. Um, it also has great onboard tools that a lot of some of the other ones don't have. So a lot of people feel the need to buy a bunch of plugins, things like, you know, de-essers and de-clickers and noise reduction. They have a very robust set of those already built in. So you don't have to go and buy these extra plugins because it's already baked into the cake. Now, some of the cons are that it, um, it is subscription based. So you have to pay about 20 bucks a month to keep it. But the good news with that is that you always get the latest version. So anytime they have an update, you get an update and it's always the, the very latest version of the software. Another con is that it can be a little overkill for a brand spanking newbie especially if you know, you're not very tech savvy. But if you have just kind of a base level of computer skills, it's pretty intuitive. And the last con is that it can be a little bit heavier on the resources of your computer. Not bad, but if you've got a super old computer, it might be a little bit much for that computer to run on. So if you're serious about voiceover and you wanna make this you know, a long-term goal, Adobe Audition, will never steer you wrong. It is powerful, easy to use, has lots of built-in features, and once again, is the industry standard. And now for something completely different. If you struggle with marketing your VO business, don't worry, you're not alone. This is where lots of people get stuck. But never fear, because this month's live masterclass is all about direct marketing. And it's all going down on October 28th at 5 p.m. Pacific. In this live 90-minute class, I'm going to take you through the exact steps that my assistant Hannah and I use to keep my VO pipeline full. I'm going to cover why your website is so crucial to your VO marketing and best practices for your site. My steps for researching who to reach out to. My exact email process. When and how to follow up with potential clients. Using LinkedIn to maximize reach. Keeping everything organized in my CRM and tons more. Seats are limited to 100 attendees so we can make sure we get to all the questions. And as always, I'll be drawing a name from all the entrants to win a free seat to the class. And of course, these live masterclasses are always recorded, so if you can't attend live, you'll always have the replay available. Learn more and sign up below in the description in the pinned comment. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. Next up in our list is Reaper. And Reaper kind of has a, a cult following, uh, and for good reason. It's a very powerful software, and when it comes to pricing, it really is just a one-time payment of about 60 bucks. And you buy it once, you have it forever, so there's no subscription situation with Reaper. Some of the pros is that it's super customizable. Um, it's very lightweight, meaning it doesn't really use a lot of your computer resources. Um, it's got tons of community support, you know, Facebook groups and online tutorials that will teach you how to use Reaper very well. So let's talk about some cons of Reaper. Uh, the first is the learning curve. You know, out of the box, it doesn't really look as slick and polished as say an Adobe, an Adobe Audition, but uh, it is customizable. So just take the time to set it up the way you like it. Um, there are also fewer kind of out of the box features, meaning that there aren't as many baked in uh, tools as once again, a, a a doll like Adobe Audition. So Reaper can be great for people who are on a limited budget. You know, they only want to pay one time for a piece of software. Um, and at 60 bucks, it's pretty reasonable. Uh, if you want something very customizable that has some bells and whistles, um, a little bit above what a, you know, audacity would be, but not quite where Adobe Audition is, then Reaper might be right for you. Okay, our next DAW is called Twisted Wave. And Twisted Wave has been around a while. It was created specifically for voiceover work. So with Twisted Wave, it's, it's very powerful 
but very simple. So you don't have to worry about a, a very steep learning curve when you are starting with Twisted Wave. And just like the other ones, there are plenty of videos on YouTube on how to set it up, how to use it for voice work. So some of the pros for Twisted Wave is that it's a very clean, kind of minimalist interface. So it's pretty easy to pick up within just usually a few minutes. Another reason why audiobook narrators and longer form narrators use Twisted Wave is that it handles punch and roll very easily. And punch and roll is just a, a, a technique that you can do to fix your mistakes kind of as you go versus doing it after the read. Another cool thing about Twisted Wave is it has a very good app that you can actually edit on your phone. Some of these other DAWs don't do that. Okay, some of the cons with Twisted Wave is that it is for Mac only for the desktop version. If you're a PC user, you can use Twisted Wave, but you have to use the browser-based version, which is a little more limited. Another con for Twisted Wave is that it lacks a lot of music type features. And of course, if you're just doing voiceover, that really shouldn't matter. Another con is this one also costs, but it's not very much. It's just a little more than uh, Reaper at 80 bucks, but it's a one-time purchase. You get it forever and uh, no subscription needed. So Twisted Wave is going to be for maybe if you're a longer form narrator, as I said, like an audiobook or e-learning or, you know, that kind of an editor who just wants something that's powerful but simple and easy to use for long periods of time. It doesn't have as many bells and whistles as, say, Adobe Audition, but if you just need the basics and something very solid, then Twisted Wave might be a good pick for you. Okay, now it's time for the honorable mention, and there's a few that are still out there that we haven't discussed. So uh, the first one is Pro Tools. Now, Pro Tools is kind of the, the industry standard when it comes to big time, you know, music production and film production. Um, it's super expensive. It's for voiceover. I feel like it's overkill, even though I do know narrators and voice actors who use Pro Tools simply because they were trained on it years and years ago, and that's what they're most familiar with. But if you're just starting out in voiceover, I would skip Pro Tools because it's very expensive and the learning curve is huge. Next up in honorable mention is Logic Pro X, and this is a Mac only uh, software that is also just probably a little overkill from what, for what you need. But once again, if you're a Mac user and you like using Mac only products, this might be an option for you. Just, uh, just be careful because as I said, it can be a little bit overwhelming as well. And another Mac tool that comes free with all Macs is GarageBand. Now this is very basic. I mean, this is something that like Audacity, or even more basic than Audacity, if you want to just see what it's like recording your own voice and kind of playing around with it a little bit, you can use GarageBand. But honestly, it's not really built for professional VO recording. Okay, so let's stack these up side by side so you can compare and contrast. First up with Audacity. It's free, it's simple, and it's great for beginners. Next up is Adobe Audition. It's very polished, it is the industry standard, but there is a subscription. And then there's Reaper. So it's affordable, it is a one-time license, so no continuing subscription needed. Um, it's very customizable, but it can have a little bit of a learning curve. Next up is Twisted Wave. Also, one-time purchase. It's fast, it's reliable, it's kind of minimalist, but it's great for longer form narrators. Then there's Pro Tools and Logic. Those can be overkill for what we would need it for for a regular voiceover work. But if you've got the time to learn it and you got the money, go for it. So really you just have to figure out what's the most important thing to you. Is it the money? Is it the features? Is it the user friendliness? Um, those things all come into play here. So make the best choice by maybe trying a few of these out. Some of them have free trials so you can compare and contrast in real time as you're playing with them. So which one should you choose? Well, here's my recommendation. If you're brand spanking new and you just wanna feel this thing out, then go ahead and try Audacity. It's free, it's super basic, it'll let you record your voice and edit and play it back and just see if this is something that you wanna get into. 
And if you're ready to invest and you want a subscription-based tool that has all the bells and whistles, then I would go with Adobe Audition. That's the industry standard. And if you want power and flexibility without the ongoing cost of a subscription, then you could go with Twisted Wave or Reaper. Uh, they're a little simpler than Audition, but they definitely do the trick. There are plenty of people out there who use those uh, on a full-time basis in voiceover. So when you boil it all down, really the best DAW for you is the one that suits your situation the best. Um, you want it to streamline your workflow, not get in the way. Remember, no client will care what DAW you use. All they care about is getting good, clean, professional audio. So check out the pricing, check out the features, and figure out which one might be the best for you. So what about you? Which one do you use? Are you just starting out and using Audacity or maybe even further into your journey and still using Audacity? Or maybe you're an Audition fan like I am? Let me know in the comments. And uh, if you're still deciding, let me know which one you're kind of leaning towards. And speaking of the whole recording process, if you want to learn about some of the best audio interfaces for voiceover, then check out this video right here.